creating a contact us form in Chronoforms V4. Uh, we're doing this on a Joomla 1.5.22 installation. Uh, obviously, on a fresh install of Chronoforms, you're not going to have any forms in your forms manager. Uh, we've got a couple created just to keep the video short but yet informative. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is jump into our wizard edit. Um, when you first come in here, this area over here is going to be blank. This is your canvas. This is where you're going to actually create the form. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on form settings. Give your form a name. This is just an identifier. So in this case, there cannot be any spaces. So we just put in contact underscore us, set published to yes. Then you can jump back into the preview, drag and drop any of these elements into your form. In this case, we use two text boxes for full name and email address. We use a text area for the message. We used a CAPTCHA input for where you're going to have your users enter an input image uh, to prevent spam bots. And then, of course, you have to add a submit button or none of this is going to work. Once you've done that, you can go in by clicking this icon over here. It brings you into the general uh, settings. Uh, Field name will already be set because Capture will already create these tables for you. Input underscore text underscore zero is going to be your first table uh, or your table, your first field. This will be blank. We went ahead and just for simplicity reasons, we made the field ID the same as the field name. A lot of these are going to be defaulted already. Field max length, for example, is going to be already set at 150. Field size will be already at 130. I'm sorry, at 30. Your label text is actually going to say label text, so you're going to. This is what's going to be seen uh, for that field or on the front end. So you want to highlight where it says label text, and then type in whatever you want the name to be. In this case, we used full name. We gave it a simple entered a simple instruction for the users on the front end, and of course a tooltip. Uh, once you're done doing that, you want to click on the validation tab. We want to make sure that the full name is required. Uh, we're only going to allow alpha uh, characters to be used in the name. Um, and that's pretty much it for that field. Once that's done, click apply and then save. Email address, same thing. You're going to click here. You're going to put in all of this information. Go back up for your validation email is required and you'll tick the email box because it's going to be an email address that you want to put in there. Again, click apply, save. You're going to do the same thing uh, when you get to the enter image. This is a chrono verification field so you don't really need it. Like I said, it's automatically generated by Chronoform so you don't really need it. Uh, field max length is five characters. Chronoforms CAPTCHA will generate up to five characters. Uh, and you do have to come back in here though and for your label text should say enter the code. Uh, again an instruction and a tooltip. Apply, close. Once you're done doing that with the entire form, click apply. Once it has been applied, you will then be able to go into your events tab and we will pick this video up from this point uh, on our next video.